Hey guys, welcome to The Horror Show. I'm Susie Von Slaughter. And I'm Cecil Laird. And today we're gonna bring you another review, this one of a movie that's actually an American remake of a uh, Chinese movie called 13 Game of Death. This one is called 13 Sins, directed by Daniel Stamm and uh, starring Mark Webber and Rutina Wesley. This movie is a really interesting one, Susie. This one, uh, you fucking awesome. You'd That's never heard is. of it before. This is one. This I've is one never of those of situations, right? <laughs> you guys know as horror fans that sometimes the best way to go into a movie is knowing completely nothing about it. That's what I did. Exactly. And you did, I think maybe. Uh, no. no, I I That's knew it was a I remake, did. but when I saw <laughs> the original, I had no idea what it was. So I I was blown away when I saw that, and this was mm -hmm. just just as cool, pretty much. Yeah, I like doing that sometimes because. You know, well, you said it was good, so I trusted mm -hmm. Cecil, and I'm really glad that he did because it was fucking amazing. Like, yeah. totally blew me away. Yeah, so basically, the idea is Mark Webber plays a guy who is just having a really rotten ass day. Um, he's struggling. Kind of like life recently. Yeah, altogether. life is just going all wrong. Like, he's got his girlfriend, who's played by Rutina Wesley, who played um, Tara in True Blood, if anyone watches that show. Uh, but uh, but basically they're having sort of a little trouble although they're standing by each other but he's got problems because they have his um, special needs brother mm -hmm. adult special needs brother staying with them and then um, the they're father also, they also found out she's pregnant right yeah they just found out that mm -hmm. she was pregnant and then the father who was staying at a home is gonna get kicked out of his home so he's gonna have to live with them as well right. and then at the same time I, he loses his job mm -hmm. and uh, like all this stuff just co goes completely wrong uh, for this character and he's at at his wits end but mm -hmm. then all of a sudden he gets a phone call um, when he's sitting in his car trying to, you know, figure out what the hell is he going to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, the call's like, you know, would you like to play a game? That kind of thing. But not like Saw, would you like to play a game? It's like game show voice. Like. Right. And at first he's like, who the fuck is it? Yeah. <laughs> like so, some random person's like, if you complete these tasks, this X amount of money will be added into your bank account. And exactly. He's like, <laughs> and he's like, I don't believe this. He's like, well, well, let us show you, you know, the, your first task is to kill that fly that's buzzing around your head. And so he takes a little piece of paper and whacks it against the but window. But again, mind you, mm -hmm. the dude's out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, just in his car. And he's getting a call saying, kill that fly mm -hmm. <laughs> that's buzzing around your head. Yeah. So... You know, I didn't even think about that. It's yeah, and again, he's yeah, just like... Hmm, that, that would be a little it, suspect. Yeah, he's like, but how still, the But still, they're like, think? okay. And then he sees, like, he they say that... He gets a notification from his bank that he got... Uh, or a notification from them that he achieved task number one and mm -hmm. like five hundred dollars was transferred into his account or something right and then it showed that he got five hundred dollars exactly well like, well not quite yet because they're like your next task is to eat the dead fly and he's like what you're crazy and he's like and he decides not to and he hangs up and he drives home and he goes and uh, then he checks his balance mm -hmm. and it shows that there was money deposited right. and then he's like huh and so he pulls out the dead fly and he uh, he eats it, and another deposit is made into his account. Like immediately, mm -hmm. again, right after he does it, this, he drives home, and right after he eats it, the money comes in. So again, yeah. you're like, Who how are they watching yeah, all how? this? What is going on? It's mm -hmm. very Big Brother. <laughs> yeah, oh, but one of the things about the games is that if he quits at any time, he loses everything that yes. he had gained. There's, up yeah, there's two, basically, two addendums to playing the game is that you cannot tell anyone you're doing this. Mm -hmm. um, no matter how close they are to you, you can't say that you're playing a game. You can't let anyone know what's going on. You can't tell the authorities or anything like that. And if you quit at any point, you lose all the money that you've earned up until that right. point. But, you know, he they give him a substantial amount of money for these seemingly small tasks right away and he's like okay and they're they tell him you know our last winner walked away with 6.4 million dollars and he's like 6.4 million you know and he's like okay okay so let's do it and then basically from that point forward we shouldn't give away too much but every task escalates and right. i'll give you the next one because the next one is basically while he's at a picnic with his girlfriend and her family he gets a call and no matter what he has to take the call um, and he has to go and find a random child and make them cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, every task gets progressively more aggressive and, like, just, like, more cringeworthy, but he somehow, you know, he, he has to try and truck along and he meets a lot of speed mm -hmm. uh, roadblocks along the way and then there's a cop that gets introduced, played by Ron Perlman of mm -hmm. Hellboy fame, amongst many other things. Uh, and 
It's it's just a really awesome movie. What I thought was really funny is that with each phone call, it had the circus music playing the and it's so it's so funny that it, like that association, you know, mm -hmm. like getting that call, you know, and everyone's like, and everyone who would hear the phone call, the ringtone, they're like, who the hell is that? Like, why would mm -hmm. you put that as ringtone? That's fucking random. But mm -hmm. he's like, mm -hmm. no, I have to take this call. Call and it it gets pretty funny. And then with each task, you know, his his ego almost gets boosted a bit. Right. You know, yeah, so. it, that's actually true. He he actually, as he's doing these tasks, he's sort of asserting more of a control over his life than he has in a really right. long time, albeit to do things that are on the unsavory side. Right. But after he does these things, he like sometimes gets these big grins on his face, like or this big grin on his face, like he just really did something, like he released some sort of, oh man, that's so, I'm feeling invigorated kind right. of thing. So, right. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Now, um, now, a lot of people might watch this movie and consider it just more of a straight thriller, but there are definitely, especially towards the end, some horror elements, um, and yeah. so it kind of skirts that line, I'll admit it, uh, but I thought the movie was, was so well done and so intriguing for horror fans, mm -hmm, you know, that, that it's worth recommending to you guys. Now, um, how did you like the actual acting in the, in the movie? I think it was done really, really well, especially, like I said, the, the main actor, because in the beginning, like you said, he's basically a big old pussy. Like he can't, he doesn't have a backbone with anything. You just see his life crumble right before your eyes and you totally feel for the guy. And the fact that, you know, during the movie, again, like we were saying, which is, which with each task, he, you see his confidence get built up and he's like, oh my God. And then, you know, he's getting all this money and he's just like, oh my gosh, you don't have to worry about a thing. And you see that and he plays it really, really well. And it's yeah. really, really convincing. Mm -hmm. And especially again, at the end, like, I can't tell you too much. <laughs> so you're gonna have to have to wait for the spoilers, but it's mm -hmm. definitely. I thought it was great. Yeah, it, it was. It was excellent, and um, you know there are some effects. Uh, I enjoyed mm -hmm. the effects. There was not much by way of CG that I can remember right off the top of my head, except for one particular thing that they couldn't help but use a little CG right. for. Um, but the gore, uh, the, when there is gore, the gore is really cool, mm -hmm. um, and it's. Again, it's tough to talk about without spoiling anything, right. but uh, but at one point, you know, there's something that he has to do involving a corpse, and it's just like the effects, you know, of just him having to interact with the corpse in this abnormal way is really kind of right. interesting. Again, <laughs> I'm trying my best not to spoil you guys, so make sure you check out that episode because we're going to go into all these gory details. Mm -hmm. But uh, but outside of that, um, the acting, again, I, I agree with you. I thought it was. Uh, a lot of fun, and everyone played their part well. Mm -hmm. um, the main guy, like you said, bounced back and forth from from being freaked out to being almost euphoric for doing right. the stuff that he's doing. And then, you know, especially towards the end, he kicks it up a notch. Now, um, the production design of the movie was just, he's all over the place. So what I'll say about the production design is they did a great job of you know, making it feel like it took place over a lot of different locations and it mm -hmm. never stumbled. The movie never really slows down. Um, no. He takes a break to talk to his girlfriend every once in a while, but not for very long. And he's he's always gets drawn away by a phone call pretty, mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Um, so there's a lot of fun to be had watching him do these things as well. Like you can live vicariously through him yeah, doing exactly. these Yeah, exactly. Um, for me, I was like, oh my God, what are they going to do next? Because it's stuff, it's like, it's so random like mm -hmm. yeah like make a kid cry like why <laughs> why would you do that that's so fucked up but yeah. you know it but again it escalates to some ridiculous <laughs> yeah. things so they, they do a number of things that you're just like wow it okay. definitely kept me drawn in yeah sure. and you kind of it's fun to play the game yourself like would i do that for that amount yeah of exactly like, yeah hmm. it makes you think especially at the end yeah oh, <laughs> hmm. okay i'm gonna s slide a little further away knowing how the movie ends <laughs> uh, but anyway, you guys, that's probably good enough for this movie. The music was, uh, I'll mention that real quick because it was good driving music. You know, right. they, it, it helped sort of, There's the movie propels forward at a certain pace and the music sort of helped that along. Right. So I have to at least say that much about it. Uh, but thanks for watching this uh, regular review, non-spoiler of 13 Sins, you guys. Check it out. It's worth it. I'm not sure if it's on Netflix, but it's worth uh, tracking down on Amazon or wherever you can, if at all possible. Uh, remember to 
Uh, check out our social media, our Twitter and our Facebook. And when you're done with that, be sure to head over to our website at www.thehorrorshowchannel.com. And in the comments below, why don't you let us know what your favorite horror movie featuring a game with unwilling participants. Ooh, yeah, because like I said, I really like this one, so I'd want to know more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, besides Saw, uh, you can let us know if it's one of the Saw movies. That's perfectly fine. But I know there's a Would You Rather movie out there that was pretty mm -hmm. good. There's, uh, you know, Truth or Dare. Any of those movies, let us know if any of those horror game movies are just as good as 13 cents. So mm -hmm. thanks for watching and remember, stay, stay scared. scared.